praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is another day of worship and we thank God for being alive in the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Our topic for today is titled, An Enemy Has Done This. An Enemy Has Done This. And our reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 13, from verse 24 to 30. The passage is one of the parables of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's about a man who planted wheat on his farm, but along the line, wheat started to grow together with the wheat. Of course, the wheat are the works of the enemy. The servant of the farmer wanted to remove the wheat but he cautioned them that they should let both grow together until the harvest this is because by the time of harvest it will be easy to separate the full grown wheat from the wheat there are many lessons in this passage it speaks of the goodness and patience of god it speaks of the wickedness of the devil it speaks of the endurance of the believer in the midst of troubles and the judgment to come. Brothers and sisters, God created everything perfect in the beginning and even created man in his own image. But Satan corrupted God's creation in the same way the enemy sowed wheat in a wheat farm. In our world, there is so much evil and wickedness such like um, kidnapping, rape, banditry. You can imagine where a, someone is raping a three-month-old baby. That's wickedness of the highest order. A lot of things are happening these days. Corruption and troubles all the way. But believers in particular face challenges trying to remain true Christians in the midst of such evil yes believers are struggling struggling so much to remain true christians in the midst of trouble in the midst of this evil the enemy is on rampage stealing killing and destroying but the lord will see us through in the mighty name of jesus christ amen A time is coming when at the harvest, the farmer will separate the wheat from the wheat. The wheat are removed and burnt. Yes, the things the enemy is doing in your life will be burnt. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Hear me again. Whatever the enemies are doing in your life, it will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. I ask you, Are you downcast and worried by the existence of the evil in our world? Are you wondering why it is taking long to have justice and evil punished? Don't be discouraged. Like the farmer patiently waits for the harvest, God will give you victory over the work of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our prayer today is that God will grant us the patience and grace to keep holding, holding on the harvest when God will separate the wheat from the wheat and put an end to to the work of the enemy. That is our prayer today, that the Lord will give us this patience. You that is hearing this message, the Lord will give you patience and grace to hold on till the harvest when God will separate the wheat from the wheat. May the Lord help us through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. Happy Sunday and have a fruitful week ahead. The Lord is your strength. No matter what you're going through, no matter what the enemies are doing, the Lord will see you through. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you.